Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your March blessings reading. So what blessings are coming here in March for you Sagittarius? Before we get started I just want to remind you that these videos are generalized so take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't as that will resonate with someone else. And if you need me to have a look at your own personal circumstances my website is in the description box below. Just get in touch and I'll be happy to work with you. Sagittarius Remember to look at your sun sign, your moon sign, and also your ascendant sign. So that way you are getting a full, complete reading. So these are the tarot cards here that we have for you. And so let's put the oracle cards and runes to the side and we'll get those in a moment. So what blessings are coming for you here, Sagittarius, in the month of March? I see that you are actually really focusing on something there is a project that you're working on at the moment and this looks like it's your money. You have really got an intention to grow your money, to invest your money and to really start living a successful life. And I see you really focused. So your blessings here in the month of March are going to come through you focusing your intentions on exactly what you want. We see here on our card, our guy here, he has his eyes closed. He has his energy really focused on growing his pentacles and pentacles represent money. They represent the things that make life worth living sometimes. So these are your, your possessions. This is your home, your cars and all that good stuff. So I see you really focusing your intentions and this is where your Sorry, I had to quickly change my batteries there. So yes, moving forward, we now have the Wheel of Fortune. And I love the Wheel of Fortune because it talks about Lady Luck is nearby. So Sagittarius here in March, you have luck on your side. So take some risks, take some gamble, even go and play the lottery. Take this energy of luck into your own hands and see what happens. So we're seeing here with the Wheel of Fortune, it indicates, you know, that breakthrough. We're talking about positive outcomes and these positive outcomes are through actions that you have taken. So I'm really happy to see here that you're focused, you are planting your intentions, you are really determined to start growing your money and growing your wealth. And then we see here with the Wheel of Fortune that this is looking really good because like I said, luck is on your side. So this inf uh, situation here about your money is gonna start improving. This card here, the Wheel of Fortune is about your hopes and your dreams. So what hopes and dreams do you have? Because I certainly see that you do have some hopes and dreams in the next card here that we have of the two of wands. So with the two of wands, we see that our girl is looking at this wheel of fortune. She has hopes and dreams about traveling. This is something that she wants to do. We see her looking out of the window and thinking, mm, shall I go? Shall I stay? It's that sort of energy. You're trying to choose between two things. So you're trying to choose whether you should stay and carry on with your job at the moment or whether you should pack your bags and go traveling Sagittarius. Like I always say, Sagittarius is, are the gypsies of the Zodiac. They always have to have something to aim for. They need that excitement in their lives to go and do something new, to go and see something new. For a Sagittarius, life is not worth living if there's no adventure. So now we're seeing you thinking about what adventures shall I go on next? Shall I take a road trip or shall I fly somewhere around the world? So we're seeing you really thinking about what you should do. Perhaps you have won the lottery. Who knows, right? Because we're certainly seeing you um, hoping, dreaming. And with the card here of the Wheel of Fortune, it is saying that your hopes and your dreams, make sure you're putting them into actions. Don't just dream the dream and do nothing about it. Don't just sit there visualizing and daydreaming and actually not doing something about it. Your luck here in the month of March is going to come from the seven of pentacles, from that action that you're willing to take, from all that effort that you're willing to put in to whatever it is that you want to grow. So uh, your abundance, your magic, your um, your your blessings here are coming through 
action and like i said you have lady luck here looking at you ready to give you your blessings so make sure you're taking all the positive actions that you need to take don't be afraid of any hard work that you might have to put in because we are seeing that the outcome is going to be positive we are seeing that that you know that lucky windfall is on the cards for you so like i said be sure to go and buy a lottery ticket too because you never know you could be winning something so sagittarius i really love seeing that for you so now let's have a look at some moon cards and these are oracle cards so the first moon card that we have here is the if we can focus don't let your past hold you back so we see that with our seven of pentacles here because i know sagittarius that you know you've had a hard time with money right because capricorn was not capricorn a saturn was transiting your sign for uh, two years before it moved on to capricorn and though for those two years it was really hard work and so we see that there might have been some restrictions in your money so this card here the moon card is saying don't let whatever it is happened when saturn was in your sign restricting your money restricting you know your abilities to go traveling don't let that put a dampener on your spirit put the past ahead of uh, behind you and move forward because luck is on your side and so the next card here that i have for you sagittarius is the um the spirit fox and this is the angel and ancestors oracle card and what does the spirit fox want to tell you so if we can focus on this card for a moment, uh, it's frustrating when this focus doesn't happen quickly enough. So the spirit fox is coming to tell you to trust your talents in changing times. So we definitely see that things are gonna be changing and we're seeing that if you want to go traveling, perhaps you're starting to look at what talents that you have so that you can make money whilst you're traveling what can you do so we are seeing you focusing about your money and we you have luck on your side but at the same time you are looking at your talents and seeing how you can utilize this whilst you're traveling whilst you're on this adventure so next we have the goddess cards and the goddess oracle cards are talking about they're asking you to go outside so cordelia is saying go outside don't spend your time just you know indoors thinking go out into nature because let's focus here you have been indoors for too long <laughs> it has been winter it has been cold so i understand if you've been stuck indoors for so long but here in march this card Cordelia is asking you to go outside, get the breath of fresh air. And so it's saying, go outside and get some fresh air. Because when you're out in nature, this is sometimes when, you know, you get those divine inspirations that just pop into your mind to help you see how you can ut utilize your talents in this changing situation that's unfolding here for you from March onwards, Sagittarius. So finally, we have a rune card. And the rune card that we have is the gift. So Gebo is the gift and I love this card because these are the divine gifts that, you know, sometimes you're putting in so much effort and then luck just comes and boom, it just sprinkles, sprinkles some magic on whatever you're working on and suddenly everything is growing, opportunities are coming and you are just so excited because life has suddenly taken that turn to the positive because like I said, Sagittarius is, I know many clients who are Sagittarius who I was doing readings for over the last couple of months, it has been hard, but finally things are starting to move forward. Things are starting to go the way you want to go. So expect these gifts to be coming from the divine and have your hands wide opened to receiving these gifts that are coming in because I see that you are so excited you have already been through the dark times you have already worked through these dark times and now the fog is starting to lift and color is coming back into your life so definitely be open be willing to accept the gifts that 
the divine wants to give you so I am so excited for you Sagittarius I can't wait to see what is gonna happen for you comment in the comment section be below what this big what is this big dream that you are dreaming of what are you working on and if you win the lottery what are you gonna do with that so Sagittarius if you want me to have a look at your own personal situation get in touch with me my website is in the description box below I'll be happy to work with you and also remember to give this video a thumbs up a comment subscribe and also hit the notification bell and on that note Sagittarius I'm gonna love you and leave you and I'll see you soon bye